Can a plane take off downwind? Technically, yes, but it really does not want to, because in aviation, the wind can either help you fly or hold you back. Planes do not care about ground speed, only air speed. A headwind helps the wings reach liftoff speed faster, shortening the takeoff run. A tailwind does the opposite. It steals lift and makes the aircraft work harder. That is why almost every takeoff happens into the wind. If a jet needs 150 knots of airspeed and there is a 10 knot tailwind, it must hit 160 knots across the ground just to lift off. That adds hundreds of meters to the takeoff roll and reduces climb performance. For pilots, it feels sluggish, like sprinting on a treadmill that is moving backwards. Airports design runways to match prevailing winds, but sometimes nature does not cooperate. If the opposite runway has dangerous crosswinds, or if tailwinds are light, say under five knots, a downwind takeoff might still be cleared, but only after strict performance checks. Most jets have strict limits, around 10 knots of tailwind for takeoff, 15 for newer wide bodies like the A350 or 787. Exceed it and it is a no-go. So yes, a plane can take off downwind, but only if physics, paperwork and pilots all agree. Would you notice from the cabin if your flight lifted off the wrong way?